What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jazz and for this video I am going to be reviewing the movie Life starring Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal. Now Life is about a group of smart scientists, astronaut people that go to Mars to collect a specimen to prove that there's actually life beyond Earth. Plot twist, life on Mars is violent and horrifying, awful. Just not quite the friendly picnic that they were anticipating. And once they realized that stuff just got real and they brought an evil creature onto their ship, the new mission becomes to keep this thing in space and away from Earth because it's violent and awful and it wants to kill everything in its path. The first 30 minutes of the movie were really slow. It was low key boring. I was concerned. I was like, is it gonna pick up? Like, I don't really care about what you're talking about. Cause you know, some movies, you kind of got to build, right? It's giving you backstory and you're like collecting information that you know is like pivotal and is going to mean something later on. That wasn't happening. It was just a lot of random stuff. It was just boring. It was just too much boringness for, for too long, but don't give up. It's just 30 minutes. I looked at my phone. I checked. It's just 30 minutes of boring. But then, within four minutes, they suck you back in again, and you're at the edge of your seat. All hell breaks completely loose, and it turns into the type of movie that has you in the theater, like, ready to scream at the movie, but you don't want to be that person that's in the theater just yelling at the people that can't hear you. So you have to, like, do, like, this and like freak out in your chair. And that's literally what I was doing the whole movie. And I caught a matinee, so I was surrounded by like old, more quiet people. You're like, yeah. So I had to like contain myself in my little seat and not say anything and it was driving me nuts. I was like, yeah, it, it gets intense, but then they bring it back down and then it gets emotional and then it's crazy intense and horrifying again. And then it's like, oh, Oh my gosh. And then it's like, ah, what? And then it's over. That's, that's what happens in the movie life. <laughs> I honestly left not knowing entirely how I felt. <laughs> like I saw the movie hours ago and I had to think about it before I could make a video about it. Cause I was like, I really just not a hundred percent sure what I think. I think I'm going to give it a B minus. And I don't think it's a total waste of money going to see it in theaters, right? It might be your cup of tea, but I definitely think it's okay to catch in your home theater as well and it be just as fun. Get a group of friends, watch it, have a good time. Yeah, that's what I'll say about that. But overall, good movie. I really enjoy Ryan Reynolds. Um, so it was cool to see him play a serious role. Obviously he still brings his his dry humor to it, but it was definitely a more serious character for him. So yeah, I think it's kind of, it's kind of up to you. It's not like absolutely not, or oh my gosh, you must go. It's just kind of like, just kind of here. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Any feedback is welcome and appreciated. Any suggestions that you have for how I can make these videos better. It's a new channel, new thing for me. All of your guys' feedback is definitely appreciated. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more, make sure you smack that subscribe button. Love and appreciate you all. And until next time, God first, God bless.